an international, a global activist movement to end gender-based violence worldwide. So at Green School, we've honored V-Day for the past 10 years. And part of the reason that we do that um, is because for a school that's focused on making our world sustainable, we understand that it's not always about environmental sustainability. It's also about social sustainability and gender equity is a big part of that. It's a really big issue and like the entire world is facing it and it happens to women and children. I feel like we should all have an awareness so we can help prevent it from happening ever again. It's also super important to educate, especially from early years up, and we have such young children and they're gonna grow up and be our future change makers. And you know, it's just really important that we tell them what is happening and how they can you know, stand up for themselves and stand up for them, their friends and just be there for people too. I think at Green School, especially in our high school, is that we look at things through a social justice lens. And when we think about violence, often that means that there is a victim to that. So that's one of the reasons that we um, celebrated, but also to empower the young people that we work with, for them to advocate for healthy relationships and for change in the world that they're going to be leading in the future. Three pillars of the V-Day project. One is education, so students get to design different workshops and invite um, some teachers and community members to lead them. The second is art and expression, so there's theater and visual art and poetry and all dance, all different kinds of art. And the third are local community connections. So students get to learn from local organizations that are furthering the rights of women and children here in Bali. This is what will create change. We allow so many voices and sometimes that's uncomfortable, but that's where learning happens. I think it's, do we learn alongside these young people? every single year, and that's what's really important. How could 95% of women have felt this? A violence so hedonistic, I could not begin to imagine. Think about it, please, please think about it. This happens to the masses.